Hello! In this video, I'll be going over the material from section 3.3, Solve Multi-Step Equations. Oh wait, I can't complain. It's actually a good title this time. So let's get started. For our first example, I would like to solve this equation by combining like terms. Well, our like terms are 9x and negative 3x. To combine, just subtract the coefficients. 9 minus 3 is 6, and then just write down the x. Go ahead now and copy the rest of the equation down. What's our next step in solving the equation? x is being multiplied by 6, and I'm subtracting 20 from it. So we need to perform the inverse operation in the reverse order. So the order for the problem is multiplication is first, and then a subtraction. So let's switch it around. We need to add 20. Six X is equal to 30. Then divide by six. X is equal to five. Here's the check of our solution. I do want to point something out to you. Here in the second step, I only have subtractions. So according to our order of operations, you must go from left to right. So go ahead and perform 45 minus 15 first to get 30, then subtract the 20 to get the 10. Let's go ahead and solve this equation by once again combining like terms. Here's one. There's the other. 43 is equal. Negative 17g minus 3g is negative 20g. Plus 3. g is being multiplied by negative 20, and I'm adding 3 to it. What's now the next step to solve the equation? We should subtract 3. Forty-three minus three is forty. Threes go away. I'm left with negative twenty g. Then we should divide by negative twenty. Forty divided by negative twenty is negative two. And then switch these around. Here's the check of our solution. Please pay very close attention to the order of operations I followed to get this 43. The distributive property. Multiplying a number by a sum of numbers is the same as multiplying each number in the sum individually, then adding up the products. Our goal in this example is to solve this equation by using the distributive property. I want to remove the grouping symbol, the parentheses, by distributing the 3 to each of these two terms. And then the other things stay the same. 5c, positive 3 times a positive c is positive 3c. Positive 3 times a positive 4 is a positive 12. Notice how I really emphasize the signs because I don't want to make any mistakes. This is equal to 36. Notice we have two terms with a C in them. We have like terms. Let's combine them. 5C plus 3C is 8C. Everything else stays the same. Now what do we do to get c by itself? Subtract 12. Eight c is equal to 24. And then we just divide both sides 
by 8. C is equal to 3. I would like to point out a few things for this check. The first step, of course, is to rewrite our equation and in place of the variables, you're supposed to write down a small set of parentheses. However, when you do that, in this case, you get parentheses within parentheses. So it's best to rewrite the outer parentheses as a set of square brackets like this. If you use parentheses within parentheses, that's fine too. Then we need to follow our order of operations. I multiplied the 5 times 3 to get 15, and I added the 3 plus 4 to get 7. Continuing our order of operations, 3 times 7 is 21, and then add that with the 15 to get 36 is equal to 36. It checks. Once again, let's apply the distributive property to solve this equation. Let's go ahead and distribute the 2 to each of these two terms and negative 6 to these two. Let's go ahead and multiply everything out. Positive 2 times positive 3z is a positive 6z. If it's the first term, you don't have to write down the plus sign in front of it. Positive 2 times positive 1, positive 2. Negative 6 times positive 3 is negative 18. Negative 6 times negative 2z positive 12z. That's equal to 20. What's the next step? <sighs> Looks pretty messy, doesn't it? Just like my apartment. Never mind. The goal is to get the variable by itself. So we want z on one side and everything else, all the other junk, to the other side. So let's do that. I can combine like terms, those two, 6z plus 12z is 18z. 2 minus 18 minus 16 is equal to 20. What's the next step? Which number should we move to the other side first? So let's go ahead and add 16 to both sides. 18z is equal to 36. And then we divide by 18. Easy. z is equal to 2. And here, very carefully, I perform the check. I would recommend you pause the video and study carefully how I use the order of operations to get the final result of 20 equals 20. For last example, I want to multiply by a reciprocal to solve the equation. Now you could distribute the 3 fifths to each of these two terms, but that's more complicated. It's best to just wipe it out by multiplying by its reciprocal. What's that going to be? 5 thirds. And what you do to one side, you must do it to the other. The fractions all cancel, you're just left with the inside of what's in the parentheses. So you don't even need the parentheses anymore. Just go ahead and write down 4x plus 1 is equal negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Do we eliminate the 4 or the 1 next? The 1. So we subtract 1 from both sides. 4x is equal to negative 16. And finally, we just divide both sides by 4. So x is going to equal negative 4. When you do the check, just be extra careful when you apply the order of operations. Here I multiply 4 times negative 4 to get negative 16. I added 1 to it to get negative 15. Then I recommend you divide negative 15 by 5 first. This gives you negative 3 times 3 
is negative 9, which is equal to negative 9. It checks.